All right, guys, how y'all doing today? I'm back on the Hellcat channel here to give you a update on the King Quad 750. Uh, this week I bought a clutch kit from A&D Clutching out of Canada. Now, give you a little story on what was in the bike before, or the ATV before I done this. I had a one millimeter shim, 16 gram rollers. Top speed was 5960 bumping the rev limiter with stock 20 gram rollers, no shims, it would run 67 miles an hour. Okay, fast forward to now. We got the A&D movable drive face that has been machined to give you more low end, more mid range, and more top end. I've already checked the top speed on it, 6970 with the heavy Kenda executioners on 16 gram rollers, no shims. If I would have put the factory 20 gram rollers back in the CVT, it would run 75, maybe plus, minus one or two mile per hour. I've done rode it, and let me tell you, I absolutely love it. This son of a gun has been transformed. You get more bottom end, more mid range, and more top end without sacrificing the top end when you run shims, which I hate because you lose the top end. Okay, so. The biggest thing I've noticed about it, it pulls these executioners extremely well now. And anybody that's got executioners know they're heavy. It pulled them pretty dang good before, but it pulls them better now. I am going to ride it, and I am going to show y'all some of the things it does. When you come out of a curve and you throw it to it, it either spins or wheelies. Uh, it's easier to wheelie when it's on the factory tires. I think everybody knows that. I've already rode it with the factory tires. It's a monster with them. But these are mainly the tires I run. So you can pick these up out of A and D clutch, and I think I spent I want to say 280 shipped down to the United States. Took about seven days to get here. Dude's awesome to work with. Now he did say when I bought these, he didn't know how good the 16 gram rollers would do. I've sent him messages afterwards, and we've discussed how good it runs. And well, we think it runs killer. So. I'm going to give y'all a ride on it and I'm going to show y'all how the clutch and movable drive face works. So this is the factory secondary spring, no shims, 16 gram rollers, and his movable drive face that he machines. All right, guys, safety first. Let's get this helmet on here and we will go for it a ride here just to kind of show you how it does now i haven't got the opportunity to get it in any mud holes but i have climbed some hills with it and low brings your top speed back up to i think 29 miles an hour we're going to start in high and remember we've got these heavy executioners on here and everybody knows them's heavy they're just a heavy tag i will tell you that one of the biggest things that you will notice about this thing real quick is before on the stock cvt system it's like you punch it you have power it falls into a little bit of a slump and then it picks back up not anymore this thing goes straight from bottom to red line pull it and i absolutely love that so let's get started so yeah i just picked the front end up right there now we're gonna go down here and play on a few of these heels they're not big ones but i'm just gonna show you a general view of what this thing does y'all seen the previous post videos of this on youtube this one's always been a willy monster but it willies easier now and a whole lot better like i said we're in high right now so we're going this is just a small little hill we're just going to kind of go up it and throw it to it to the going to spin or wheelie Bit of spin and a little bit of both. Pick the front end up right there. this full of them. I get turned. 
turns the tires over pretty easily now. the spinner wheelie no clutch i mean clutch i'm thinking of my banshees no brakes not, i'm not brake torquing it like this i'm just going to punch it that's about 60 percent throttle i am not flooring it remember we're still in high it's fun oh if you can see the dirt it's fun that time in the RPMs, how it stays on point. Let's see if we can kind of give you a back view here. Turning the tires over very easily. for a minute. Anybody knows when you stop on a hill and you're throwing it to something, it's got to have a little bit of fun to get on up it. Let's floor it right here in high. Floor it. Straight up on the back tire, straight up. Go back to low for a minute. That was just a goose coming out of a small ditch, just goosed it. Let's try that again. Now you can see this ain't a big ditch. Right up on the back tires it goes. Let's go back up to high. So, it would run 67 on the same straightaway with light factory tires. It is now doing that with 16 gram rollers, heavy executioners. If you can't tell by the video, and it may be hard to, completely different ATV. I can't wait to get it in some mud and some steep hills 
and get somebody to film it while I'm climbing them to show you how good it's just churning the tires. So check them out, A and D clutching. I give this one a 90% out of 100. And the only reason I ain't giving it 100 is because I ain't got to try it in the mud yet. But I guarantee you by the way this thing runs now, it will have no problem tearing these executioners apart. Happy riding, wear your helmet. Sorry it's been a long time. YouTube had me on a three month ban. I don't wanna talk about it. They like to ban you over stupid stuff, but anyway, there you have it. A&D Clutching, look them up. Just Google A&D Clutching King Quad 750. The thumbnail will have a picture of what you get. You can buy it with the sheave, the rollers, and the little plastic sleeves, or you can just transfer your current rollers and plastic pieces over to this movable drive face. All you got to do is take the CVT cover off, pull the cage off. Plenty of videos on YouTube show it. I've even got some. All right. Without further ado, like I said, I give it an A plus for the King Quad 750. He did an awesome job.